So today we are making this Vietnamese coconut chicken and I actually think it's gonna be the best chicken recipe that you'll ever make. It's the perfect combination of sweet and savory with some nice Vietnamese flavors infused into it. And it's also super high in protein and low in carbs because we are pairing it with this creamy cauliflower rice. To make the cauliflower rice, you actually just rice some cauliflower in a food processor until it resembles rice. And I swear you don't even notice that it's not real rice. There's actually no carbs in this. So it's keto friendly as well. And it goes perfectly with the Vietnamese coconut chicken. If you want to know how to make it, keep watching. So the first thing we're going to do is prepare our delicious caramelly sauce. So we grab some coconut sugar. You can also use just brown sugar, but I really like coconut sugar because it has a little more health benefits and it has a very nice caramelly flavor so in the pan of a medium-high heat and then a dash of water and then let that bubble and caramelize so while we wait for that to bubble and caramelize about one to two minutes we're gonna prepare the rest of the ingredients so I've got a shallot here that we're gonna thinly slice a shallot is like a French onion it has a nice milder flavor a lot less sharp than a normal brown onion and we simply just throw in the rest of the ingredients into the pan except for the chicken one whole can of coconut milk in there. Make sure that the only ingredients are coconut extract and water. We don't want any fillers, additives or gums, just the natural juicy coconut. Some fish sauce for that umami salty flavor and some rice vinegar. I actually found some brown rice vinegar in the health food stores, which has a little more health benefits than the plain rice vinegar, but it's a bit harder to find. So plain rice vinegar will do. And then we'll season it with some pepper. And we don't really need to add some salt just because it's already salty from the fish sauce. So once the sauce has reached boiling point, then we add it in our chicken thigh, skin side down. You can also use chicken breast if you desire, but I'm just using what I have on hand. Once the chicken's in, simmer for 25 minutes. So while we wait for the chicken to cook, we're gonna prepare our rice, which is a low carb version of rice made with cauliflower. All we do is just blend up the cauliflower until it's a rice texture, making sure not to over blend. It literally takes about one minute. So place your cauliflower florets in there. You can also buy the cauliflower pre-frozen. So now that we've got our cauliflower rice, we just simply saute the cauliflower rice in a pan of a medium high heat with a little bit of coconut oil. And then just season with some salt and pepper. And so to add some extra creamy coconut flavor, we're gonna add a bit of coconut milk and let it cook for another two minutes. Then we give that a stir and then squeeze some lime over the top and also some finely chopped coriander. By the time the rice is finished cooking, the chicken will be ready. As you can tell, it's nice and caramelized. If you'd like to add some vegetables, you can just add it onto the last 10 minutes of cooking. So now we are ready to enjoy our Vietnamese coconut chicken with our creamy low carb coriander cauliflower rice. And if you did like this recipe, I would love, love, love if you could hit that like button and also subscribe. That really helps support me and my channel and also helps you to create more deliciously healthy recipes at home. And if you do try this, I would also love if you could tag me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle up here. It's at amyleactive and also follow to see more delicious healthiness and I will hopefully see you in the next video. My stomach just did a massive rumble then, so <laughs> please <laughs> did not hear that.